Alright, well we're down here on the Moor River today. Uh, just going to do a short video. Uh, we're going to do some brim fishing here, just with a bit of a different. Um, a lot of people uh, think that coarse fishing is uh, basically just trout, carp, redfin, most of Australia, that's what we get. Um, but basically, I'm going to use waggler, I'm going to use corn, bank angle pellets, and a 10 mil of spicy shrimp and boilies as well. Um, and just see how many brim we can get out of them. Um, something that not a lot of people will do. Um, I've actually got a feeling on them already, and it seems to be right down literally at the bank of the edge. So um, we'll have a quick go here, and then we might actually try and get some on the water through to see what the brim do and how they react to the pellets going in. So let's see how we go. So I'm literally using the uh, exact same setup as I would use normally. Um, just a locked waggler, and uh, instead of actually having a shotty pattern down the line, I'm literally just tying the hook on probably about two and a bit feet just down the line. Um, the bait isn't really looking like it's going to actually hit bottom. Uh, there's a lot of fish down there, so I uh, just want to fluff it down just as it is where I've been feeding them up and throwing loose bits in and out. So, so there we go. 8 mil soft hooker pellet from Bank Angler. Let's see if we can get a grip. Australia. Eight more cooker pellet. Brim. First cast, literally. Straight away. That's one for you. not just for the carp. We catch all sorts. Let's bang a few out and then we'll see what we can do about a bigger one. Try and give you a better look at how close I actually am to the bank. Just a little hole. It's an undercut bank on the ledge there. I'm just plopping it right down there. Oh, missed that one. Beautiful in that clear water, amazing. Lovely. Sorry about the filming. Look at that. How good does that look like in the sun? Lovely Moor River brim. As I can say, you can't get much more simple. Just a locked float, 8 mil hooker pellet. And basically, a big tip I would say is basically pick your swim and feed it for a good 20 minutes or so without fishing it. Right, so all we're going to do, same rig, just going to get the boiling and just try and lick one end of it with the hook. Poke it out there. A nice bit of hook point showing. Stop. Yeah, nice bit of hook, hook point showing there. Let's see if we can get one without. A little bit of a different beast on here. I just uh, was throwing in some uh, some corn. 
and some pellets to get them going and a few bigger fish came in. This is actually one of the smaller ones of them, but took a bit of line, it was good fun. small but I mean they fight really well on light gear. He's actually swallowed that so I'm just not going to muck him about. I'm just going to take that hook out. That will rust out and come out in a couple of days. Yeah. See if we can get another bigger one. Some of his mates were a lot bigger than this. Now this is that swim here. It's like a lovely little bit of cliff just coming down off the bank. And actually in the water you can see there the rocks and underneath them there's a very quite a deep undercut and there's a lot of fish in there. I'll just show you, you won't be able to see many of the pellets because they're black, but I'm just going to throw them in and make them out as they're sinking. Just as it gets to that ledge there, just as it passes that ledge, it's going to shoot out and grab it. I think we'll grab one more from here and then we'll move on. That's a, that's a good note to, uh, to move spot on, I think. We're going to get much better out of here. Let's see what they look like when they're actually munching underneath the surface. Lovely. I decided to take my underwater camera with me this time. What I decided to do was actually place it at the bottom of the river and actually feed in 8mm bank angle hooker pellets as well as a few bits of corn just to see how the fish would actually react um, to the bait coming in and obviously how long they'd actually stay in the area with the bait being constantly fed in little and often. It's quite interesting, have a look.
one thing that really did amaze me, not just the fact of the amount of brim in the river, and the fact that the smaller fish seemed the first to get there and the larger fish second, um, was the, actually the amount of life in the river itself. Um, there were small little mud skipper looking things, uh, small schools of bait fish like mullet and gambeses. Um, I even saw some freshwater shrimps as well um, come past the camera. So it's a really good healthy system. And you can see why, as you can see there, the brim very interested in those little mud skipper things. Um, but why there's so many brim and obviously why they're so healthy, there's just so much food in the river. But obviously another thing as well, it's a bit different from carp, is the amount of natural food does not stop them from uh, preferring an easier meal, as in like the free pellets and the free bits of corn going in, they're way, way more interested in eating those before they start to even think about hunting. Um, but yeah, no, if you check out the, uh, the last bit of footage here, you'll see the, the uh, freshwater shrimps I'm talking about. Um, but if you're interested in any other, any other videos or any other products, just go to uh, Joker Valley YouTube channel. Um, just subscribe to that. There's loads of videos and stuff on there from all over the world. Um, and any products, any course fishing tackle or anything like that or any information on the fishing club, uh, just go to Bank Angler. That's www.bankangler.com.au or check them out on Facebook. Thanks a lot. Uh, stay tuned and subscribe for more videos.